All right, guys. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bass Pro Shops backpack. Um, it's a 360 size backpack, so you have to have 360 um, tackle boxes. I'll just give you a quick um, rundown of it and the stuff and the gear and all this other stuff that I have on it. So first on the side, it has a little rod holder for you, which is nice and convenient. Just two little adjustable straps that you can put your rod in. Um, if you're walking through trees and stuff, I don't advise using it. But if you're just walking like along a park on trails on the park, it's really nice. So Okay, so next up, um, there's this little flap right here that I put my sunglasses in. And I'll show you how I do that. Um, just pull it all the way to the end and try to... Sorry, something's just sticking here. Just like that, and then just pull one of the um, little ear things or legs out, and then pull the other one out. And put one in, pull it all the way, and then put the other one in. And then it should, it'll stay there and it won't come out. So that's a nice place to put your sunglasses if you're not too worried about them getting scratched. It has uh, um, a little like spinner bait and stuff holder right there. Um, that's pretty much what I use it for. Nothing else really. And flip it over on the side. I just have some scissors in that first little mesh pouch. And then when we unzip it, um, all my weights and stuff, my wallet. Um, Fishing license, boating license, driver's license, all the other good stuff. Um, an extra pair of batteries in there if I'm on a camping trip for my camera and stuff. And that's it. And then on the other side, um, nothing in the mesh, um, mesh pouch right now. I'll probably have chapstick in there or something. But on the inside, we have a Berkeley scale, digital scale. That's nice. Um, and then a nice Leatherman multi-tool. Okay. And then in the pouch right here in the front, just um, Velcro's up like that. I have my hooks. Um, there's other little pouches in there too. Two little pouches. Um, jigs and panfish stuff. Then over on the side, I have my sprayable coffee scent. And then just some soft plastics that aren't in boxes and stuff that I just feel like taking along with me. And just extra hooks. Um, this isn't chapstick. This is my coffee scent in there. I just poured it in there and works pretty good. And then over here, I just found out about this a little bit ago. There's actually a little velcro pouch on the back of here and here I keep my gloves for handling pike or if it's really cold out and stuff but it goes like all the way down to that seam right there the zipper seam you can put like a shirt in there or something thin um, so first I guess I'll open it up right here the bottom half okay so pretty much we have just my this is my tackle, um, tackle speed bag box right here. I have two of them. These are the boxes from that um, my other video of the tackle speed bag that I bought last year. Probably won't be using that anymore since I got the backpack. So I used it as a lunch box the other day though. So or a little lunch bag. It works pretty good. Um, just some stickworm. hard baits and stuff in there. I usually have them labeled. And so that's it for that down there. And up on top, it's gonna get squished now. Oh, and another thing is you can actually unzip it here. Where's the zippers? Um, you can unzip it and actually make it into two separate things. You can either have just this bottom half or the top half. So that's nice if you just want to pack lighter. Um, I probably won't use that function though. 
So right on top here, they give you enough space to put four in and then there's enough space on the top. Probably put like an extra shirt or a sweatshirt in there, like if it cools down and stuff. Um, but right now I just have a little jig box. And then I have all my main components here, tubes and grubs. Oh. Hang on, take those out. Craws. Worms. And then just um, like stick baits and top water. But yeah, it's pretty much what it is. It's a really nice backpack. It's only, I think it's 40 or $30. I'm not sure. It's a really good buy. You can fit all this stuff in there. All that stuff. Um, it does get extremely heavy and it will make your back and shoulders a little sore at the end of the day, but it's a really nice buy. Um, so I would advise getting it for anyone who shore fishes. So, yep, thanks for watching, guys. Fishing video is coming soon. Um, the snow is pretty much melted for the most part. Still have a tiny little piles right there, but it's almost gone. So good news, guys. Probably a fishing video next week. So, yep, see you then. Thank you.